while a five-minute lesson could save a life. Gil Reyes reports on CPR week and two easy-to-learn procedures that could mean the difference between life and breath. Anyone who wanted to learned CPR in practically no time. I mean, it's easy, basic steps that sometimes we don't realize we could do, but uh, I learned pretty, like a lot just coming here. It was only like five minutes and it was quick. The LA City Fire Department and Councilman David Rue kicked off CPR week at Griffith Observatory, encouraging everyone to learn this technique in the event of a heart attack or other emergency. It is our duty as family members, as neighbors, and as friends. There's hands-only CPR. No rescue breathing is needed, but you will need about 100 to 120 chest compressions per minute. You do that and until the firefighter or paramedics get there. And in the city of Los Angeles, we're very fortunate. We'll be there probably between five and six minutes from the time they made the phone call. So it's not a long time and uh, it can literally make a difference. Also being taught how to use an automated external defibrillator. It administers electric shocks to revive the patient. It's easier than it looks. Place the pads on the patient as indicated and listen to instructions. This technique requires 30 chest compressions followed by two breaths. 30, give two breaths. And when it's time to deliver the shock, make sure you're not touching the patient. Press the shock button. Now, shock now go right back into CPR. Just like you did. Good. So the fact that they're making this available to the public is a really, really great thing. The life you save could be a family member's. Most cardiac arrests occur at home. In Griffith Park, I'm Gil Reyes for LA This Week. Miss the class? Well, the American Red Cross also offers CPR training. Learn more at redcross.org.